Hi, so I wanted to share with you a little bit more about POTS, P-O-T-S, Postural Orthostatic Tachyardomy Syndrome. Okay, so what they found my POTS was related to, or at least not being helped by, is a lack of ADH. ADH is antidiuretic hormone. It's produced in your hypothalamus inside your brain. Uh, it's, it's, you can also, you know, refer to it as vasopressin. And um, what it does is it regulates your blood pressure. So imagine not having that. You can't really regulate your blood pressure. Also, it is, it, like it says, it's antidiuretic hormone. So it's like taking diuretics when you don't have it, which means you just piss out all your electrolytes. Um, I lost my thirst. I couldn't even remember the last time I was thirsty before, um, you know, they put me on a supplement for it. And that kind of slowly goes away. Um, you know, if you're missing it, it's you're just kind of like thirst. What's that? But I found I was I felt so much better at diners. <laughs> just like so random when you have chronic fatigue, like you don't even know the things you can piece together later on once they you know they start helping you out. Um, so yeah, the thing is at diners they serve you water and. It's not up to you whether or not you're thirsty. So they would put water in front of me and I would drink it. I'm like, wow, this is like amazing. What's in this? This makes me feel amazing. And, uh, you know, so I just associated it with the diner and never associated it with the water. And um, because I had lost the ability to be thirsty, I didn't know when I was thirsty. So I found years later when I pieced this together, I found out whenever I was really tired, I would drink water. And um, I had to learn that my fatigue was actually a sign that I was thirsty because I had lost the ability to become thirsty. So you, you become thirsty, you know, when your body needs it. And I was like, oh, uh, like three steps be after that when um, I would get I should have been thirsty, and then it would go three steps beyond that, and I'm like, I am dehydrated. <laughs> so um, that's when I would notice when I was tired, and that's when I taught myself to drink water whenever I was tired. And then, then that's when they discovered the ADH issue. So they put me on this supplement, Desmopressin. Now, Desmopressin is a supplement. It's a hormone, not a supplement. You stop saying it. Uh, it is a hormone that's produced in your hypothalamus. I mean, it is a synthetic version of a hormone that is produced in your hypothalamus, the va vasopressin. So what you do is you spray this in your nose three times a day, and it's supposed to mimic vasopressin in the body. And the reason you do it in your nose is because it's closer to your brain, so it triggers cascade of awesomeness throughout your body um, and I started retaining water for the first time and after three months on it it was like somebody switched on a light bulb inside my brain I was like what's happening I saw like colors I saw like pixelated faces I'm like what's happening and it was just amazing it was amazing to be on this stuff um, after three months. At first I was like, this is doing nothing. I don't know why I'm taking it. And after three months, my brain started producing it on its own and I didn't have to take it anymore. It was like, that was it. I all of a sudden started producing this hormone. So if you have POTS, it's very, very important that you get tested for ADH because not having ADH in your body will cause dehydration will cause issues regulating blood pressure, issues with electrolyte retention, which is another reason why the vitamin zero is amazing, because it, it replenishes your electrolytes. But when you don't have ADH, you just kind of piss a lot of it away anyway. 
Um, so I highly, highly recommend if you've had a positive table test and you have issues with your blood pressure and it's causing fatigue, highly recommend you get tested for vasopressin. Now, doctors will tell you, they may tell you, um, I doubt you have issues with vasopressin because they only happen in cases of brain inflammation. But in my case, they never found any brain inflammation. They never found any evidence of anything, no MRI issues, no nothing. They kept telling me I was depressed, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you don't start, you don't stop producing ADH from depression. So something happened at some point and, you know, if you test it positive for POTS, just see if they'll test you for ADH because it, it seems to be very highly correlated with fatigue and Lyme. Highly correlated with Lyme. And um, 